Well, we are back at the home base here in Fargo. Ready, our company is in Fargo, of course, and we've got this cart behind us. Make sure you check out the video of me picking this up from a farmer nearby. And we traded him for some awesome Pro Stitch closing wheels. He didn't have a need for this cart. We obviously deal with these carts all the time and we have buyers. If you have a cart and you don't need it, let us know. If you need a cart, let us know. We'll put you on the list and we'll try to be the matchmaker for you. This is uh, getting rebuilt. Um, the guys are gonna be working on this today. I will keep you updated on all this and keep you in the know so you know what we do when we do these and what we're doing here at Ready Today. Oh, did I mention that this cart is going all the way to Oklahoma? We sold this to a guy who, they've got a case cart, but they've got a John Deere tool. They want to upgrade their cart um, for whatever reason or use the case cart for something else. So they're going to put this John Deere cart on there and we're going to make it happen. Wow. What's that? Scared me. Scared me. <laughs> well, that's what it starts with, is uh, cutting the ladder bolts off, and then they're gonna drop the top plate, meter housing, all that. So we have Curtis here, he's our support guy. He's gonna be supporting people who are calling in and have questions on hydraulic drive, blockage systems. He's just one of the many, and we're really excited to have him. But today, he's putting together a John Deere meter housing. We don't work on these very often, but this one happens to be in really good condition. We got it on another cart. What we did is we value engineered the thing and we got a, some of the cost out by putting a John Deere OEM meter housing, good condition, back on the seed tank. And what that's gonna have is it's gonna have the stainless steel half with disconnects. I would not put a John Deere meter housing back on anything without doing that as a minimum. So we've done that. And that means it's gonna function really good. Whether it's seed or fertilizer, he's gonna use it for seed, so it should last a long time. If he did use it for fertilizer, you know what would happen. It would corrode and have problems over time, but it would never have half with disconnect issues where these things twist and seize anymore. That's really important. A few moments later. Ah, oh, spring is in the air. Actually, that's our heater. Our heater is in the air. And that's why it's warm right now. Otherwise, it's actually very cold. But we do have water flowing, so uh, hopefully spring gets the idea, like this is how it works. Gotta throw some heat at us and uh, get the water flowing, but not too fast. We don't want another flood in Fargo. Mid uh, project update here. The guys look like they got the uh, meter housings dropped. Let's see how easy or how well it went or how bad it went. All right, gentlemen, how did this one compare to most jobs you're doing? <laughs> Does it have anything to do with this was like a fertilizer rig a before? Fertilizer, rusted. Yeah, but that's why we have the work, right? Yeah, that's right. Yep. So now this one is getting the John Deere parts because this is just a seed tank. So we did put new seals, new hardware in, but uh, I even labeled the tank up there to make sure we got it right. And then this bad boy is going to get all the, uh, all the stainless steel. So this one will be bulletproof for a long, long time. What seems to be the biggest challenges right now? Rust. Rust? <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, the front one came down relatively easy. You had to cut, what, one ladder, two bolts on this uh, back one? I cut all four bolts, and out of the four ladder tubes, only one was seized, was seized but all four bolts had to be cut. Okay. I mean, that's not terrible. No, no, not too bad. I mean, it's par for the course. Look at this. Look at these tubes. These are yummy. So you may be wondering, what are these cables for? Well, they're actually a chair for Brant to sit on. That's right. That's why we have them on this cart. Actually, they're for uh, the previous owner. They put it on as a preventative thing to keep the cart from pulling apart, really. They had a previous model that did do that. It cracked on the front and they had to repair it and it busted a bunch of stuff. So when they got this one new, they did it right away and they had no problems. In fact, I had this conversation with a farmer, but I checked all these welds to make sure there was no evidence of cracking. You can see it in the paint if there is. And uh, these guys took good care of it. You can tell that they added this plate here. Again, back when they added this. So this was all added when it was brand new. And so was this. 
And that kept this frame solid for the uh, strip till applicating that they were doing with it. Oops, dropped a sensor. All right, well, carry on guys. Spring is coming, eventually. At least our F-350 truck is still working. Now this is a gas, so it sucks at pulling, but it does have the better capacity and it's not broke down. It's not waiting on a $50 gasket to be able to run. Look at that, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I don't think this is gonna move anymore. Here's that ladder tube that he said, Brant was telling us he only had to cut off one of the ladder tubes. Oh man, someone got a footprint on it. Close to as good as new. Two hours later. Let's go back and check on these guys and see what they're up to. We do have a lake in front of our cart. Ooh, look at that thing. She's a beauty. So far, I like what I'm seeing here. Wait. Why is this one not installed yet? This job should already be done. Let's go figure out what's going on. All right, guys, what's the hold up? So we started with another meter. Now we've got broken studs or broken bolts in there. This oh, man. housing. We're gonna see if we can get them out. Do a different meter housing. Yeah. This is why you don't go with John Deere or OEM meter housings. Even when they look okay, they're not okay. I promise you, we have experience with it. We thought the uh, other parts were fine and uh, the half of disconnects will not function in them. It's just hanging up. I don't know if they're tweaked or twisted or what, but we're now starting with a different meter housing. And the joys of what happens when you try to take them apart. So we're breaking all those. Have you tried, uh, could you weld a nut on one of them? You're gonna have to. These are stainless bolts and so what they do is even uh, even if they're not, cor well, they don't corrode, but stainless and aluminum don't mix. Right. So then they corrode together in here. Yeah. Hey, did you know that? Stainless aluminum, very bad together. We supply steel ones in our kits now, and I think Deere switched to that too. They're like a hardened steel. So then steel and aluminum are okay together. But hey, you guys needed some practice anyway, right? Those okay. are the ones we supply. There's the steel ones that we supply, and they're grade eight or grade 10.9 in the metric scale, but equivalent to grade eight. And that, yeah, that's, I've had several customers tell us that they'll just weld the nut on and they've been able to get them out, so. All right. Well, that's our, that's our next alternative. So this meter housing looks really clean. There's actually no corrosion that we see out here. You can see that there's maybe, no, no, this was all seed. There's very little fertilizer evidence here. But uh, right where these bolts go in to the aluminum is where it corroded. Yeah, and that's that. that's the problem. Yeah, you know, it looks like some seed treat and yep. seed stuff. But overall. So that's what's holding us up from that build. We cannot charge enough labor, it seems like, to fix an OEM meter housing. So if you're wondering, hey, what if I just get these half foot disconnects? You can, but just be prepared for this. And another thing to be prepared for is you'll probably be just returning them to us and getting a whole meter housing anyway. How many times have you done that today? Oh, this is number three. <laughs> number three. Number three sweeps. And sure to be not the last. One eternity later. We are really frustrated right now. Curtis, how many meter housings are we are now attempting to save? Uh, we're gonna start number three. This is the third green John Deere meter housing that we are trying to save and make work for this half with disconnect kit. Should be easy, right? These don't have a lot of corrosion, maybe none. Just throw in some stainless half with disconnects and it'll work, right? Not the case. Not the case today. Uh, the first one back on the pallet here is so tweaked, we cannot get 
the half foot disconnects to function correctly. It should work. We've tried different things. We've tried assembling it different ways. We've tried different half foot disconnects. Somebody bent it. It got bent. I don't know if it got dropped or what. But now, number two, which we thought was going to work, so we spent a bunch of time cutting out bolts that were broken, looked just like that. You saw that just a second ago. Well, we didn't see that there was a hole in it. So these plastic inserts were in, and here this little hole crept up on us. So yes, this, uh, this meter housing is also junk. And I am beyond frustrated. I shouldn't speak much for myself because I'm sure Curtis really is frustrated, but we are now going to try number three. And this is really the last good one we have. And I can tell you what, if you're out there and you're wondering if we'll buy back your John Deere meter housing off your seat tank, even if it looks great, the answer is no, we will not. But we'll be happy to take it off your hands and throw in the garbage for you. Now, nah, maybe we'll let you do that too. Anyway, third meter housing, hopefully it's... Now it's bent, probably. Anyway, hopefully it's the charm. And uh, we just want to get this done. It's got to go to that farm in Oklahoma. Good thing we got a little time. We're not under the gun. He's not showing up tomorrow. Back at it. Hey, Jesse, never buy another John Deere meter housing again. Okay. Just throw them in the dump, throw them in the trash. So this third one looks pretty good. There's really no corrosion. The question is, is it straight? Is all this stuff straight when we pull it all together with the end caps? Is it gonna function? That's what we're gonna find out. We're gonna have to just give them a stainless steel meter housing because if this third one doesn't work, we're putting a stainless one on, I can guarantee you that. I don't care how much that costs. We're doing it. It's gotta happen. So now it's getting smoothly. Right. Which we weren't getting before. All right, there you go. Third try is the charm. <laughs> we got it done, finally! Finally. Good job. You're lucky, Mr. Farmer in Oklahoma. Well, maybe you're not lucky. You almost got a stainless steel meter housing out of the deal. We got it done. We finally got it, and uh, we'll get it up. We'll get it up shortly. here with the new owner, proud owner I should add, of the 1900, of the 1900 cart yeah. and we are in the process of attempting to load. We will succeed Hell yeah! but uh, we're going to try to figure that out and you are going to get to be front and center of that action. We got Jared Rother here, Justin his brother and these guys came all the way from Oklahoma. Yep. Right the what would possess you to do that? You needed a cart. Yeah you needed a <laughs> cart had it. and you wanted to visit Ready. Oh wow, we got we got activity. Okay, watch oh, here we yeah. go. Here we go. Let's see it fall. We don't smash it. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, I'll stop it if it starts to roll this way. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, there we go. I hope you didn't feel like we treated your cart like that. <laughs> this is the easy part. What isn't gonna be the easy part is uh, loading that thing. We're gonna lift that up from both sides. And we're gonna try to back that trailer. They got a gooseneck trailer, flat deck, and back that under here. Cross our fingers, we'll get this done real, we'll get it done. I don't know how soon it'll be, but we'll get it done. Probably haul your air seater in that. <laughs> this makes me very nervous. Oh, yeah, I think it'll go. It passes the uh, measure off my hip test. Okay. 
so far so good. All right, so we just gotta move this over about three inches, maybe four. Just like that, she's loaded. Good job, Dad. Good job. Good job. Let's do some tire rolling now. <laughs> he doesn't think I can push it over. <laughs> Good job, John. Nice job. Good job, Jared. All right, we are all loaded. Kind of, you guys gotta still Got tie down, but. Yeah, yeah. A, little, a little strapping. And uh, you're going all the way back to Oklahoma. You're gonna try to make that drive in two, two days, half a day today. Half drive half. all night, no, yeah. yeah. Two yeah. days, yeah. two yeah. days. Yeah. yeah, we really appreciate you guys. Thanks for trusting us with your business. Yeah. Very nice car. Yeah. I yeah. appreciate it. It is. So, yeah. what do you? What's your plans with it? You, what are you gonna do right when you get home? Uh, get it unloaded, put it together, and hook it up to the other piece. See if we can make them talk to one another. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then you'll be putting some cover crops in, maybe. If it rains. If it rains. <laughs> if it yeah. Rains. Yeah. So these guys are dealing with a severe drought. Be praying about that. Be praying for rain for for Oklahoma, much of Texas. There's some areas that are in severe drought. I heard it was as bad as like the dirty 30s and the Dust Bowl times. Yeah. The Great Depression time, and uh, that's just crazy, isn't it? We need rain. Good Lord still has to make us make it grow, but uh, we really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Matt. Thank We're going to be praying and hoping you have a good trip back yep. and no issues. No worries. But uh, you guys, make sure you like and subscribe, keep up on all this content, and keep an eye open for more used equipment. You might just be a happy owner, just like these guys are. All right, we're out of here. Thank you.